Hello, welcome again to Crusta Camper Van Kippers and our Citroen Relay Van Build. Um, today, what I'm going to be doing is installing a Sterling battery to battery 30 amp charger. Found a very, very helpful company called Simply Split Charge. Rang the guys there, discussed my requirements, and they recommended that I buy this. They recommended that I buy this. And now it's time to unbox the kit itself. Uh, you will see that it's suitable for Euro 6 Plus engines. Mine actually isn't a Euro 6 Plus engine because my van's 2014. However, it's very reassuring that this uh, charger is compatible with any vehicle, basically, that's on the road today. Mm, very comprehensive instruction manual. Uh, this is all in English. So there's quite a bit of information in there. Save that for later. A battery temperature sensor. And the unit itself, which is somewhat larger than I was expecting. So perhaps it isn't going to go where I was intending, but uh, we'll find that out when we actually get out into the van and, and see where we can put it. Now they also have an optional kit highly recommend that you do buy it and I bought the three meter kit because in a Citroen Relay my leisure batteries are underneath the driver's seat and of course the vehicle battery is under the floor in front of the passenger seat so I don't need a long cable run. Okay so here we are I'm just going to open it out I haven't even taken anything out here yet and we will just lay it all out on the table. Okay, there's some cable conduit, some black earthing cable with the terminals already crimped and heat shrunk, heavy duty live cable, fuse holders, sticky pads, battery terminals, various fuses, more cable, cable ties, screws and a drill bit and that's it. Now this whole kit cost I think it was somewhere in the region of £30 now I do have a lot of this stuff in stock already, but what I didn't want to do was start the job and realize that I was missing something. So I just thought, what the heck, let's just buy the kit. Then in theory, I should have everything I need to get the job done first time. And the kit also includes three A4 sheets of what looks like very comprehensive fitting instructions. So in the rest of this video, I will not be going into the details of how to specifically set it up or how to use it. But all I am intending to do is to see what my experiences are in installing this physically into our Citroen Relay. Now, as part of this battery to battery charger installation, uh, I've also done some remodeling of the floor. We were at one level throughout from the door right through to the side wall here. But this inverter, which was given to me by my nephew Cisco, is too big to go where I've got all the rest of my electrics. So what I've decided to do is build this sort of 100 millimeter high floor uh, just in front of where the bench seat is and I've decided to put the inverter on a drawer and that means I can just pull it out do any checks of the of the cables at the back or even disconnect it sadly if anything should go wrong with it uh, I need to put a catch on the door yet um, but it just fits back in there and I had a bit of extra space so why not put another drawer in so here it is um, but I think a very very good use of space And again, coming to the driver's seat, what I've actually done is I've cut a sheet of ply and effectively boxed in the side of the seat base and extended it beyond the rear of the seat base 
and that is going to be a wee cupboard to uh, house these things i will of course allow ventilation through there and as in the rest of the build i've used this uh, aluminium corner profile uh, i know this plies a little bit thinner but i'll i'll fashion something out of that and probably just put a, a drop down front into there and a, a quickly detachable lid across the top and i think well neat and tidy job hopefully look better when i get the seats in of course and i think as i've said before i mean really all last summer the the solar panel fulfilled all of our requirements so really you know the main reason for putting the battery to battery charger in is just to ensure that i can put some charge into the batteries if we're to go away on a prolonged period of dull days during the winter or what have you but i mean here we are i mean the sun's gone down it's uh after four o'clock in the afternoon and um there is still daylight of course but uh, see that the solar panel is still putting some power in there at the moment and that's you know that's very reassuring got some of this um plastic sort of foam flooring i've just laid that over the top of the batteries and uh kept them nicely insulated i've put some extra in under the floor just to not that it was noisy anyway but just to quieten that down even more and uh here's the uh the, the new platform in i've got some leftover ultra flooring which will be glued down onto that no doubt that'll be a barrel of lats and uh and here's my little drawer and here is my inverter so all I've really got to do now is just finish off um, putting some sort of a door on the front of there and a wee bit of a lid, but of course allowing a bit of ventilation through there as well. To get access to this, it's just simply a case of slide the seat as far forward as it'll go, grab a hold of this lid and just slide everything out. So I think I'm well satisfied with that. Um, everything's easily accessible. The batteries and the controller and everything are are really next to each other and I think what more could you want really it's as if it doesn't exist down there it's just very very nicely concealed I've boxed in all of the seat base I've got the shunt and everything boxed in at the front and if I need access to this there's no catches or anything like that you just simply get a hold of it and uh, slide it out and there's everything to hand and uh, I would like to think uh, that's it then, canny job.